Spotify has dumped Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. Archetypes is no more. It was a huge $18 million flop. And guess what? The Sussexes, they've lost a huge amount of money over this one. up everyone it's me steph the alter nerd your nerdy alternative filling in for andy whilst he's on holiday at the moment and yes your eyes are not deceiving you spotify has dumped has axed has let go said sayonara to the sussexes harry and megan as i like to affectionately call them hazard and megzy yes it was a big massive 18 million dollar flop when it came to archetypes it did not do well for the platform at all so yep spotify is saying sayonara see ya later goodbye uh to Hazza and megzy uh they have announced that archetypes will not be renewed for a second season uh, as the audio company begins to make changes and revamp its output it has been confirmed uh so spotify and the sussex's audio production company Archwell Audio released a joint statement on Thursday night saying that they've mutually agreed to part ways and are proud of the series we made together. Yeah, I had reported on my own channel, Steph the Alter Nerd, and, and do go on there and check it out, that Spotify, in the wake of all these massive signings, so you've got Joe Rogan, you've got Hazard and Megzi, right? They've not been as successful as Spotify had hoped and they've laid off hundreds of employees earlier on this year 500 employees laid off last couple of weeks 200 yeah they are absolutely in trouble at the moment now um megan and harry reportedly signed a 50 million pound which is 20 million dollars deal with spotify uh, for the project in late 2020 but insiders close to spotify claim uh, that harry and megan did not meet the productivity benchmark required to receive the full payout the wall street journal reported and that's not really any surprise to us lot okay in the know because um if you look at their recent charity tax return for last year uh, when it comes to the Archwell Foundation, right? Yeah, on there, it's confirmed that Harry and Meghan only put in one hour per week each to charity, to the Archwell Foundation charity situation. So for Spotify to turn around and be like... Yeah, we're dumping them because, uh, yeah, they were absolutely rubbish at actually giving us what we were paying them for. Not surprised. Not surprised in the slightest. Now, the move to ditch, to dump, to axe Megzi Show, uh, which explores the labels that tried to hold women back, apparently, mm. uh, follows discussions uh, months ago about renewing it for a second season. Uh, now, she was still planning to create more podcasts and find a new home for a series, uh, so she is still trying to do that. There's previously featured a friend and tennis star Serena Williams, pop sensation Mariah Carey, and South African comedian Trevor Noah. Good luck with that last. I think you're going to need a $18 million flop. You think any platform is going to be investing in that? I, 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 I don't think so. I'm, I'm, I'm just, 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 just a funny feeling about that. Now, the axing of the show comes after sources close to Hazard and Megzi claim the pair would stop making tell-all Netflix documentaries, publishing memoirs, and sitting down for interviews that bash the royal family as they have, quote, nothing left to say. Now, I believe it when I see it, <laughs> Let's put it that way, because rumours have been persisting since literally the beginning of this year, ever since Hazard's book Spare came out, otherwise known as Where, the Megzi herself was writing her own memoir, all detailing the time that she was in the royal family back here in the UK. You don't think she wants a piece of that literary money uh, that Prince Hazza was able to get with his book? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's why I say I believe it when I see it with this one. Uh, Spotify was said to have carried out conversations for a second series of Archetypes last year following the end of the first season, but talks later stalled. Not only that, but 
the thing is, yeah, did it start out at number one in the charts? Yes. But soon afterwards, it dropped to like, I want to say 28, 29, like that. It was like a steep decline because there was no replay value afterwards. It was just like, oh, okay, what's the stupidest thing that Megs is going to be saying this week kind of situation? That was really what Archetypes was all about as far as I was concerned. Now... The talent agency that she signed with, WME, is trying to spin this. This is hilarious. So they told the Wall Street Journal, quote, the team behind Archetypes remain proud of the podcast they created at Spotify. Megan is continuing to develop more content for the Archetypes audience on another platform. Yeah, what platform? What platform is going to take that show on when it was quite literally an $18 million flop? It wasn't that successful for Spotify. And they're the leaders when it comes to podcast platforms. So if it ain't going to work on Spotify, come the frick on. What platform? Uh, Spotify, Archwell and WME were contacted by the Mail Online, where this article is from. Uh, And yeah, as I mentioned earlier on, it comes as Spotify announced it would be laying off around 200 staff members, which is around 2% of their workforce who work within their podcast teams. It cited difficulties in making podcasts profitable, uh, despite its popularity among listeners. And as I mentioned earlier on, it wasn't just 200 staff members. Earlier on this year, 500 were let go uh, because of this whole mess. Now, Megan signed off her 12th and last Archetypes episode last year uh, with a Greek post-war poet, uh, Dinos Christianopoulos, quote, saying, what didn't you do to bury me, but you forgot that I was a seed. She ended with that. She didn't turn around in a final episode and be like, brilliant season one, Uh, take care of yourselves, guys, because we're going to be back for season two next year on such and such a day. There was no hyping up a season two. It was just end of season one, and then that was it. Done. She didn't hype up as next season. She didn't do all. I think she knew back then. I think Spotify knew back then that there was not going to be a season two. Uh, Opinion conspiracy theory, whatever, right? Now, discussions to publish more content from Archiewell um, are ongoing, the Wall Street Journal reported. Mm. Uh, There are suggestions that Megan could soon look to bring her wellness and lifestyle blog, The Tig, in a bid to rival Gwyneth Paltrow's group website, which was reportedly worth £200 million. Pounds. Now, this is the thing, right? To rival Gwyneth Paltrow's goop, the tig. Are you having a giraffe? Sorry, are you having a laugh? <laughs> it's a UK British saying there for those that didn't know. What the frick? Like, can you imagine? Can you imagine? Okay, Megzy, right? Creating a candle and saying, uh, calling it, this smells like a duchess's vajayjay. I got a funny feeling she wouldn't. Part of the reason, in my opinion, conspiracy through whatever, the Gwyneth Paltrow's goop is so successful is because it's so out there. It's so weird. It's so wonderful. And, you know, it's easy to take the mick out of sometimes. You know what I mean? So... They're having a laugh if they think that once Megan la- relaunches the tick, and she is doing, guys, best believe, that it's going to rival Gwyneth Paltrow's goop. No. No way. No way. They're, they're on something, I'm telling you. Uh, so since officially leaving the royal family, Megxit, and moving to California in 2020, uh, they have pursued a number of different avenues to bring in revenue, uh, you know, Pretty much all surrounding throwing the royal family and the British people under the bus. But there you go. Uh, So it includes, of course, uh, Prince Harry's memoir, Spare, which he created as part of a $20 million deal with Penguin Books. Uh, They've also teamed up with Netflix to produce the docuseries, or as I like to call it, the mockumentary, Harry and Meghan, uh, with a streaming giant reportedly paying the pair $100 million for the six episode series so even though with this particular deal uh with spotify uh 
they've been dumped they've been axed because they didn't they didn't work they didn't put enough hours in like what the deuce right and as a result they've lost money because they ain't going to get the full payout due to low productivity yeah netflix paid them a hundred million dollars for a six episode series I, I i don't think they're gonna be hurting that much let's put it that way guys uh but oh my goodness you know what enough with my gob it's now time for your gobs if you appreciated this video and you want more and believe me Woo, there's going to be more. Do make sure you click on that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell to all. Like this video and comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories and whatever. So go one step further and join today. Become a popcorn planeteer for as little as $5.99 a month and get exclusive content from the man himself, Andy Signal, which includes a member-only video that he uploaded only yesterday, uh, giving members exclusive sneak peeks into his holiday and what he's been up to so far. So if you don't want to miss out on that join today uh with that being said i've been steph the alternate i have my own channel youtube.com forward slash steph the alternate i'm your nerdy alternative to news and pop culture analysis in particular the royal family and our favorite duo of course has it and megzy so if you like what was coming out of my gob head on over to my channel i'm sure you're gonna like it over there as well with that being said appreciate your eyeballs thank you so so much for tuning into this video Here's some more, feel want to clickety-click, clickety-click.